my shepherd. I shall not walk. He maketh me lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yes, he does. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yes, yes. I will fear no evil. Come on. For mm -hmm. thou art with me, yes. thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thou preparest a table before me in the yes. of mine and enemies. Mm -hmm. yes. Thou anointest my head with oil, yes. my cup runneth over. Amen. Mm -hmm. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in yes. all the days of my life. Yes. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. 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 Let the Lord be with us. Amen. 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 You know, it's a uh, uh, change of voice. This young man is, is becoming a man. Amen. His voice sounds like a man now. Amen. He is a man now. Amen. Once you become a Marine, you're a Marine. You're a man. <laughs> God, bless you. May we pray. O oh, most holy and eternal God, yeah. we come before you again, thanking you for all the things you, you've done for us. But first of all, we thank you for um, being our God and our Savior. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for just so, being so good to us this morning. Early uh, before the sun came up, you touched us with the finger of love. And he woke us up that we might have another day, another day's journey, and another day that we can walk in this dance. And uh, in your love. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for bringing us out to the house of prayer one more time, that we can learn more about you and your holy word. To learn of, of, about God. Everything that you have instructed us to, to know and uh, to learn how to be obedient to you and your word. So we thank you, Lord, for that. And then, Lord, that we uh, thank you for yesterday's uh, time of uh, celebration um, where we could get together and with our family and our friends and our acquaintances. That we can uh, really understand and know that the reason for the season was Jesus, his birth, and his salvation. <coughs> and then we just thank you, Lord, uh, for uh, uh, enabling us to acknowledge uh, the, the widows, the orphans, the destitute, and those that do not have a place that they can call their own. We just ask, Lord, that you would comfort them and that you would allow them to test to him that comfort that they might be delivered and they might be made whole. Like boys with the sick and the shed anymore. We know that there are those that are going through uh, affliction, so, uh, whether it's the sickness or whether it's uh, uh, the death of, uh, of the loved ones. So we just ask, Lord, that Allow them also to test the him and their garment that they might be made whole again and they to be delivered, delivered. And then, Lord, as we come this morning, we uh, ask that you would bless, the, bless all churches that have gathered in your name, have the doors open, and, and to uh, be able to, to uh, preach, teach, and witness to those that are lost. So we ask, Lord, that you continue to bless them, uh, that the word of God will continue to go out so that uh, uh, those that are lost that have the opportunity for uh, everlasting life. Because you said in your word that, that God should love the world, that he gave his only begotten son. Um, and we wanted uh, his son here to, uh, to for those that uh, uh, obedient, uh, that uh, they would have an opportunity for their life. And then, Lord, uh, we ask that you uh, continue to bless the life in a mighty way. Continue to bless us that we will continue to focus upon the highest calling, which is in Christ Jesus. 
We ask, Lord, that you would uh, uh, bless the teach word, preach word, and then we ask that you would bless uh, each and every one, whether on the air or present. Bless them that as the word goes out, that we will receive the word, not only to hide, but to, to uh, uh, let it up, be excited in our hearts, that we will take the word to the neighbors' highways and byways and tell sinner men, boys and girls, what they should be right. saying. Because in your word it says that their desires that no one be lost. And then, Lord, uh, we ask that you would uh, always uh, watch over our young folks, wherever they might be. Lord, because we know that they're out on uh, uh, Christmas vacations, and they might be on the street corners, they might be uh, on the, uh, they just might be any place, places where they should not be. So we just ask, Lord, that you put a head of protection around them and keep them all good on Lord and you. And then we always ask that you would bless them that they will not be able to temptation. And then, Lord, uh, uh, again, continue to bless our pastor, uh, continue to uh, put a head of crown on it, on his, around his head and, and give him wisdom and knowledge and understanding that he might continue to, uh, uh, that he will uh, lead your flock according to your will. Continue to bless our pastor and murders, our evangelists, our authors, system religion, and friends. And then Lord, uh, bless your wife that will continue to focus upon the high law, calling to take Christ Jesus again. We ask that you bless the preacher, the teacher, uh, and uh, bless the hearers. Uh, this is my prayer for Christ's sake in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> Lift up holy hands, magnify his name.
Praise in his name. Be a soldier for the Lord.
all of you, and hopefully you had a wonderful time yesterday. I know I had a good time watching the basketball. It's one of my favorites. The Lord is good, amen. would be opened up to the word, Lord, so that they may be saying, what must I do to be saved? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you to turn to the first chapter of Colossians. Can you hear me, everybody? Yes, you Colossians, the first chapter, when you have it, would you please say amen? Now would you stand for the reading of God's word space? Thank you. I'm going to be reading, first of all, verses 15 through 18, and then we're going to read 19 through 20. Amen. And it reads, And he, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible, invisible, for the thrones or dominion, or principalities or power. All things were created through him, and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he, have, he may have preeminence. In 19 and 20, for it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself. Yes, yes. By him, yes. whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross, you may be seated. Amen. Amen. And I want to read to John, the 14th chapter. And you may turn there with me if you want. Verses 8 and 9. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. Amen. So how can you say, show us the Father? And I'd like to speak this morning about the greatest man, Jesus Christ who has ever walked the earth. Amen. 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 You know, a lot of people wonder just who is this Jesus, this great man who ever walked the earth. Mm -hmm. Some people say that he's the most influential person who ever lived. Just who is this man who was influ influential, who was effective, who produced results, and we can go on and on and on about him. Although it seems like one of his disciples, whose name was Philip, didn't really know who he was. But perhaps the best way to describe him is to say just how the Bible refers to him from beginning with the Old Testament of Genesis Amen. and ending in the New Testament in Revelation. Yes. Now, the prophet Isaiah called Jesus the Prince of Peace. Brother Isaiah called, also called him Mighty God. John called him the Way, the Lord God, the Almighty, the Resurrection and the Life, the Alpha and Omega, the King of Kings. Peter calls him the Savior, the Shepherd and Bishop of your souls, just to name a few. But just who is this Jesus 
The Bible gives some impressive titles to this man and the most influential Encyclopedia Britannica clearly recognized Jesus Christ's phenomenal impact in our world by denoting more space to this one man than to any other human being who has ever walked this earth. The historian Philip Chafe says, this Jesus of Nazareth without money and arms conquered more millions than Alexander, Caesar, Mohammed, and Napoleon. And without science, he says, or learning, he has shed more light on things human and divine than all philosophers and scholars combined. Yes. Without the eloquence even of school, he spoke such words of life as were never spoken before or since. And he produced effects which lies beyond the reach of an orator or poet. Without writing, he said, a single line, he sets more pen in motion and furnish them themes and more sermons, discussions, learned volumes, works of art, and song of praise than a whole army of great men of ancient and modern times. Amen. Just who is this Jesus? Huh. The greatest man who ever walked this earth and the most effective, influential man in history. Mm -hmm. So take out your Bibles, please, and as we look at what Paul says about Jesus in Colossians. Mm -hmm. Paul says, first of all, that he is the image of the invisible God, uh -huh. the firstborn of all creation. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say here, Jesus always existed. Amen. Always existed. Amen. And Paul said that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. That word comes from the word which gives us our word icon, mm -hmm. which means copy or likeness. Mm -hmm. Paul is saying that when you see Jesus, you also see Almighty God. Amen. This is what Jesus was saying to Philip. When you see the Father, Philip, you also see me. And the writer of Hebrews uh, of this chapter says that Jesus is the express image of his person. And he upholds all things by the word of his power. In other words, Jesus is the exact reproduction of God in every respect. Amen. Can I get a witness Amen. today? Amen. He is the Word of God. He has always existed. He is sovereign. He's judged by no one and has absolute authority over everyone and the entire universe and everything that's in the world. He's omnipotent. Yes. King David says in Psalms, uh -huh. the Lord is righteous uh -huh. in all of his ways yes, yes. and holy in all of his works. Yes. And whether some folks believe God's ways are fair is simply irrelevant. Amen. Why? Because the Lord is not constrained to people, to time, or places. Yes. Amen? Yes. He has a plan. And he's had this plan from eternity past. Yeah. And his purposes will be accomplished. Yeah, will. He is immutable. Mm -hmm. He does not change. Uh -huh. For he's the same yesterday, yeah. today, and forevermore. Yeah. Hebrews 13, 8. He says in Malachi 3 and 6, mm -hmm. I, the Lord, do not change. Mm -hmm. And because he does not change, we can always depend upon him yes. and his blessings. Yes. For every good and perfect gift comes from above. Amen. Verse 15b says, he's the firstborn over creation. Mm -hmm. And as I said, mm -hmm. he always existed. Amen. So this firstborn creation probably refers to that which is first in rank. Amen. 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 This place is Jesus ahead of creation because in verse 16 it says for by him all things all things were created in heaven and in earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions principalities or power everything was created by him through him and for him 
And Paul said that all three things were created by the Lord. The Lord's sovereignty speaks to his right to do whatever he wishes. And his omnipotence speaks to his ability to do so. He created all things, not just some things, but all things. And this tells me that he has a personal knowledge of every person who has ever lived, who will live, and who has in the future lived, in the present lived. Praise God. Each one of us, he knows us each intimately. Intimately, he knows each of us in every way. For I heard the prophet Jeremiah say, the Lord said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Amen. All things were created by him. The other day, I was at the computer uh, getting some information about the stars, and I found out that the Milky Way galaxy has 100, 400 to 400 billions of stars in it. Just one galaxy. Each star has at least one planet. Now we're just talking about the Milky Way here. We're not talking about all the other planets that God created. Amen? Amen. So there are hundreds of billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And each star has a planet which NASA says to be the size and the mass of the Earth. Amen. It is said that it would take 200,000 years Hear me now. 200,000 years for a spaceship traveling at the speed of light to go across the Milky Way galaxy. Now this tells me that no matter how much money the Amazon man has, come on, come on. his spaceship yes. will never make it to the Milky never, Way galaxy. Never. That's just one Amen. planet. Never. Just one galaxy. Mm -hmm. All things, I let you know everything, everything. Amen. was created by Jesus. Yes, yes. Why? Because he is the word, yes. the son of the almighty God. Yes, yes. He's superior in his identity mm. because he's God. he's God. All things were created through him and for him. Yes. Things in heaven like the Milky Way galaxy Amen. and all these other galaxies that are yes. out there in, the, in space. Yes. Everything, mm -hmm. things that are visible, things that are invisible, uh -huh. whether thrones, mm -hmm. dominions, yes. principalities, yes. or power, yes. all things all were things. created by him. Verse 17 said that he was before all things, mm -hmm. and in him all things exist. Mm -hmm. This reminds us that Jesus is in front of everything, mm -hmm. in front of everybody. Amen. Everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise There's no one like him. Yes. There's nobody that's important yes. as him. Nothing is to come before him. Yes. Nothing is to outshine him. Yes. Nothing is to eclipse him. Yes. He is to be in front and head of our lives, yes. in front and head of our families, yes. in front of our priorities, yes. in front of our local churches, yes. in front of our worship, yes. in front of everything. Yes. Yes. Why? Because he is the all-important one. Yes. that we should all follow after. Yes. He's superior in his importance mm -hmm. because he was first in everything. Yes. In Kings, we find that the Queen of Sheba, mm -hmm. which was in the country of Ethiopia, mm -hmm. she had heard of the wealth of King Solomon, how great riches flowed into his kingdom, and how he could buy anything that he desired. Mm -hmm. But one greater then King Solomon is alive and well today. Amen. Jesus, who didn't need any money, a man could take two fish and five loaves of bread and feed 5,000 men plus the women and the children. King Solomon sat on a throne built, which was provided and upheld by man. They had to probably take care of the chair, you know, maintenance on it and all that. Mm -hmm. But one greater mm -hmm. than Solomon is here. Yes. Uh -huh. Now sitting on the throne of the right hand of the Father in yes. heaven, yes. whose name is Jesus, Jesus. the Messiah, yes. 
And he's sitting on it an eternal throne. He will never, ever be forced off of this throne. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, the Queen of Sheba had heard of all of Solomon's work, uh -huh. how he built houses of stone and wood, but one greater, one greater. than Solomon is here, yes, right? yes, yes. is building a household of faith. Mm -hmm. Whereas Brother Paul says in Ephesians, Therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, yes. and built upon the foundations of the apostles and the prophets, yes, yes. with Jesus Christ himself yes. being the chief of the cornerstone, the chief. in whom all the building fitly frames together yes, and yes. grows into a holy temple Already. in the Lord. Yes. yes, yes, a greater than yes. Solomon yes. has walked this earth. Yes, yes. Solomon laid down his riches to buy things. Yes. Jesus laid down his life yes. right. to redeem sinners. Yes. Right. Solomon came to the end of his life and he died. But Jesus came to die on the cross. But after three days and three nights, he got up from the grave. Yes, he and he's alive forevermore. Yes, he is. Never, ever to die again. Yes. yes, yes, a greater than Solomon has come. Yes, yes. King Solomon was just a human mm -hmm. whose power was earthly and temporary. Yes. Jesus is the eternal yes. Son of God yes. and His power is eternal. Yes. Being human, King Solomon's power was limited. Mm -hmm. But Jesus has all power. all power and He can move mountains in your life. Yes. He can quench your thirst with yes. living water. He can save your soul from hell. Yes, yes beloved. Yes. He's the greatest yes. man that has ever yes. walked this earth. Yes. The Queen of Sheba heard of the wisdom of Solomon, his intellect, how he could answer deep, deep questions. But one greater than Solomon is Jesus Christ, yes. who has all the power, all power, for he created all things, yes. including Solomon. Yes. And just where did all this wisdom that Solomon had come from? Mm. It came from the greatest man that ever walked this earth. Greatest. In the flesh. Mm. In the flesh. Amen. He holds the answer to every question. Amen. He has the answer to every problem. Brother Paul says in verse 18 of Colossians, Jesus is the head of the body of the church. Amen. Who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, and that in all things he might have preeminence. Oh, yeah. So since Jesus is the head of the body of the church, yes. he's the firstborn of the dead, yes. which he is the first one to rise from the yes. dead yes. in a glorified body. Right. And he has to have preeminence. This means first place yes. Yes. in our lives, first place yes. in our local churches. He is to be the focus yes. of all we do Amen. in church. Amen. He is to be the centerpiece. Amen. The centerpiece. Amen. The church does not belong to you, yes. nor me, nor Pastor Brown, Amen. or anybody else. Amen. But the church belongs to Jesus yes. Yes. and Him alone. Yes. The church does not exist, exist yes. to bring benefits to you or me. <laughs> but it exists. Why does the church exist? Why does this local building exist? It exists to bring glory to Jesus the Christ. Amen? The Lord's body, the church, which is you and me. We are the believers in the body of Christ. We are the temple of the living God. And the reason the church, the body of Christ exists is because he died to redeem us. It's Jesus and Jesus alone Amen. who is to be exalted. Amen. Jesus Amen. and Jesus alone Amen. who is to be worshipped. Right. Jesus and Jesus alone yes. who is to receive all the glory. Yes. Every song, yes. every sermon, yes. every prayer, yes. every Sunday school yes. lesson, every testimony, yes. everything Amen. we do, we do yes. in this building which is this building, Amen. and this building, yes. this worship house, we do to the glory of God. Yes. We do to exalt Him up. Amen? Yes. Otherwise, what's the use? Yes. 
Hmm. What is the use? If we can't lift him up, Amen. if we can't exalt him, Amen. if we can't praise him, Amen. that is at home and when we come here to this building, Amen. we ought to exalt him above everything. Amen. Brothers and sisters, one greater than Solomon is here. He one greater yeah. than Moses is here. One greater than Abraham Lincoln is here. Yeah. The greatest man that ever walked this earth yeah. came with one purpose in mind, yeah. to seek and to save sinners. Yes. Can I get a witness? Amen. And all of us have sinned and come short Amen. of the all glory of God. Of but with the death of Christ on that tree, mm. our sins became powerless to rule over us. Amen. Why? Because his death, Amen. he destroyed the works of the devil. Yes. And when the Lord rose from the dead, mm -hmm. he crushed the head of the serpent. Yes, he Without the sacrificial death of Christ, yes. we would still be yes. in our sins. Yes. Unforgiving, yes. unredeemed, yes. unsaved, yes. and unloved. Yes. But it was the love of God for every man, woman, boy, and girl. Amen? Yes. He gave his only begotten son yes. that whosoever believed in Jesus shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. Beloved, the story of Jesus did not end with his death. But his resurrection, resurrection is also foundational to the gospel message. Amen. Our salvation stands or it fails beyond on his bodily resurrection. Amen. Paul makes it clear when he says, if Christ is not physically risen right. from the dead, yeah. then we have no hope Amen. of a resurrection. Amen. And our preaching is in vain. Amen. But he was raised from the dead, Amen. never to die again. Amen. And because of his resurrection, he promised to hold true for all of us yeah. that believe in him. Because he said, because I live, you also will live. Amen. Beloved, it's through his death and his resurrection that God declares everybody who puts their trust in Jesus, God the Father has declared us righteous. Yes. The word of God says Jesus was raised to life yes. for our justification. Yes. Any person who has salvation today is one who is saved by the grace of God yes. through faith. In Jesus Christ. Yes. Nothing else. Yes. Why? Because the long suffering, the mercy, yes. and the love, and the grace of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord is merciful, yes, he is. He's long suffering, yes. and his love for mankind is beyond understanding. Yes. Jesus came to save sinners from the guttermost to the uttermost. Right, As for the Paul in writing to Timothy, Paul says... I'm a witness. I'm a witness mm. that Jesus is a savior. Yes. He said, I was a blasphemer. Mm. He had spoke evil of and slandered the name of God. Yes. In 1 Timothy, he tells him that. Paul was a sinful man, mm. and he stood guilty before the Lord. Oh, yes, he, did. he might have been religious, but he was a lost sinner. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when Paul was on the road to Damascus, he was going to get Christians and bring them back to Jerusalem for execution. But after being confronted by the Lord, he was knocked down to the ground and blinded by the glorious light of Jesus Christ, who said to him, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? In other words, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Paul told Timothy that he did this out of ignorance. He's not making excuses. He's simply saying that he didn't understand what he was doing to those who were serving God and following Jesus. He rejected Jesus and the gospel message because he was sincerely trying to earn his salvation, I believe. But he was in a state of blindness until Jesus came and opened up his eyes. But Paul says being justified freely by God's grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Beloved, do we really understand what Jesus has done for you and for me and for you and you and you? He's redeemed us. That is on that cross of Calvary, he paid the price for our release from sin, shame, and punishment. His death on that cross was an exchange 
which was for your life, for my life, and for every man, woman, boy, and girl that has ever walked this world. Yes. Present, past, yes. future. Yes. And redemption, hmm. redemption hmm. is only possible through his death. Yes. And the fact that he came to redeem us mm -hmm. means that our relationship in, with him was broken. Mm -hmm. It had to be. If he's going to come and redeem us, mm -hmm. we were broken. And since God is holy, we were the ones to blame, mm -hmm. not God. Amen. People want to blame God for everything, but not God. Mm -hmm. We were the ones. For all have sinned, as the Bible said. And being sinners... That caused us to be alienated from him. Amen. And when the Lord died on that tree at Calvary, he satisfied God's judgment Amen. and made it possible for us to have peace and fellowship with God the Father. Because our sins are forgiven, mm -hmm. we can now have the peace of God. Oh, yeah. And that peace passes all understanding, all brothers and sisters. Ain't that good news? Amen. Look at Paul, who said that he was chief among sinners. And if God could save the chief among sinners and use him to write 13 letters in the Bible plus to proclaim the word of the Lord and he is right now in heaven with the Lord. So that tells me who can't God save? Who can't he save? If the Lord can change you and you and you and me from a sinner to a saint then who can't he say? We were once slaves to sin, yeah. condemned to an eternal hell uh -huh. and fire, but Jesus came, died on the cross yeah. for all of our sins, and yeah. placed, it placed him, his precious blood was shed yeah. to redeem, to redeem, to redeem, yeah. to buy back yeah. all of us. Yeah. Because we were in darkness on our way to hell. Yeah. Nobody to pity our case. Amen. But Jesus died on that cross. Yes, he he came to redeem. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I hear him say, I'm the light of the world. Yes. He came to rescue us from death to eternal life. Amen. And I hear him say, I am the resurrection yes. of life. Yes. He came to give us a home in heaven. Yes. I can see now the streets of heaven being filled with former captives. Mm -hmm. Ain't that good news? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because really and truly there was nothing that we could do Amen. to save ourselves. Amen. Amen. But Jesus Christ, Amen. hallelujah, yeah. he came to redeem us. Yeah. And no wonder, you know, saints of God, I think about that song that they sang in Revelations. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Worthy, worthy is the Lord mm -hmm. to be praised. It's in Revelations 5, 9. Yes. It yes. says they sung a new song. Saying you were worthy to take the books yes. and to open the seal, right for you were slain yes. and you have redeemed yes. us yes. by God, yes. by your blood, yes. out of every kindred, yes. every tongue, yes. every people, yes. and every nation. Yes. yes, who is this man, Jesus? Oh, right. He's greater than all. I don't know about you. Oh, Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But he's my savior. Yes. He's my king. Yes. He's my God Almighty. Yes. He's my Lord of Lords. Yes. He is the Lord who heals. He's the Lord who sanctifies. Yes. He's the Lord of hosts. Yes. He's the Lord of righteousness. Yes. He's the most high God. Yes. He's my bright and morning star. Yes. He's my strength. Yes. He's my redeemer. Yes. Yes. He's my redeemer. Yes. My soul has been redeemed. Yes. My soul has been redeemed. Yes. I'm saved by the grace of the yes. Lord. My soul has been redeemed. Yes. I've been washed. Yes. I've been washed yes. in the blood of the Lamb, y'all. My soul has been redeemed. Yes. And all I can say is thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord, for thank everything you, Lord. you do. Thank you. thank you for coming into my life. Thank you, thank you for healing me. Thank you, thank you for redeeming me. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. I thank you, Lord. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. Yes. Because you came to give your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. My soul you've redeemed. Yes, Lord. yes you have, yes, Lord. Lord. And I thank you. Lord, help me to live the rest of my life for you. Yes, yes. Because you have done so much for me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes.
You know, in life, the world, in the world, they say Tom Brady is the GOAT in the NFL, the greatest of all times. In the NBA, some will agree that Michael Jordan was the greatest of all times. But as children of God, the greatest of all time is Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the greatest of all time who have ever walked this world. Nobody in this world compares to him. Amen. Michael Jordan didn't die for my sins. Tom Brayton didn't die for my sins. But God sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of the world because of his love toward mankind. And let me tell you, ain't nobody great. Nobody great. Amen. And let me say, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord, as your Savior, if you don't know him as the greatest of all time, the doors of the church are open. Amen. And if you would just stand with me. And as the praise team comes, just know whatever you need can be found. In my Lord and Savior, in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If you need forgiveness of your sins, just call on his name. He will forgive you and cleanse you of all your unrighteousness. Amen. Just know whatever you need, whatever you need, Jesus has it. Amen. And for what he's done to me and what he's done for me and what he's going to do for me, he is the greatest of all times. Amen. The doors of the church are open.
children of God say Amen. 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 Everybody make sure you shake Donzel's hand. Amen. Have a blessed week.